Oh, that's pretty narrow. Good morning guys, actually a very good morning. It's uh, 4 a.m. in the morning at the Siam Reap in Cambodia. You might be wondering, what are you doing up so early, Sammy? The answer is, I'm going to a sunrise tour at the Angkor Wat Temple, which are obviously very, very famous uh, when it comes to Cambodia, and especially at Siem Reap. My tour guide's gonna pick me up anytime between 4 and 4.30. Here's my alarm, keep reminding me. There it is, the sunrise. It's a very popular spot because uh, up at the lake, you get the reflection of the temple as well. Hence, you see most of the people are actually gathered around it. The sun is just rising above the temple and it actually looks spectacular. Look at the crowd here. So obviously it's a very, very old temple and has suffered some damages both natural and by human doing invasion and stuff. But the government has done some restoration. So the reason you tell which one is new and which one's old is actually the pattern. So with this one here, it's old. The new one, which is a filling, it's got a different lines to it. Reason for that is so after 100, 200 years, uh, people will be able to know which one's new and which one's been used as a restoration. Same thing goes with the pavements. Uh, the old ones got a little hole in them and the new ones, they don't. So during the Vietnam War, Americans used to bomb this place as well because it was part of the similar kind of area. However, since this is a part of UNESCO, the, the flag up on the top was a signal that they cannot bomb here. So the locals or the fighters or the rebellions or whatever you want to call them, they used to just hide here. And they lived here for two years, raising families and everything because they knew that they were safe here. Another thing, sadly, you will see some of these statues are missing limbs, heads, and all sort of other pieces. Um, that's because of the, uh, they've been stolen. So when no one was under control, people just came in and uh, took them and they were selling them in the black markets. We're going to some, uh, some sort of place which is high up in the temple. And it's a bit of a staircase, have a look. This was the end of the our first temple, and it's one off. Apparently, there are 300 temples in Siem Reap alone, and there are many more in other provinces. Here we are at the famous Tomb Raider temple. It's called something else, but that's what it's known for because uh, this is where the movie was shot. And this tree here in particular, it's 350 years old. It's literally hugging the temple walls. Wow, that's massive. This was the end of uh, the temple number two for today. The Tomb Raider temple. Here we are, the third temple, which is uh, shaped like a pyramid. It's actually from the 10th century. God, look at these steps. They're not only Pretty chunky, but super narrow. Just look at that. That is, you know, almost halfway by kneecap, and the width is not even my palm width. Oh, that's pretty narrow.
you definitely don't want to rush here. Here we are at the last, the fourth temple of our half day tour only for today. There are obviously many, many temples. Bit of opening up here, so if rain falls in, drops down in the drain, off it goes. I mean, for the rush job, it's not too bad. I mean, when you compare that with Angkor Wat and other temples, yes, yeah, sure. But considering it was done back in the 13th century, they've done a good job. All right, so that is the end of our fourth temple and end of our half day tour. I had enough. As much as I love the history and all this stuff, but I think the heat's killing me. And this is apparently the hottest month in Cambodia. We're in early April. And they say the temperature is 38, 39, but it feels like low 40s. I mean, even 38, that's ridiculous. The humidity is killing me. Saying that, they are still doing some restoration. It's a big job to finish. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed this tour. Half day, but it's full on, especially with the heat. It definitely takes its toll, but there's a lot to absorb, a lot to understand, a lot to know. With a tour guide, it definitely helps. You can uh, come here by yourself and just buy a ticket, which is 37 US dollars, or for one day and 62 for the three-day pass. Yeah. But I recommend doing it by the tour because they pick you up, take you uh, around on the different vans and all the kind of stuff. You don't have to worry about parking. They take you to a restaurant. Obviously, you have to buy your own food, but it's handy to have them. Saying that, I'll leave it to that and I would love to see in the future videos if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so that now and uh, press the bell icon so when I post a future video you'll get the notification straight away tonight is a Friday night which means I'll be going out to the night markets as well as to the pub street anyway catch you later take care